but I'll try the best I can. Um, I know people in the Amazon. I made friends with the Shuar when I was there. I was there in January as part of Child Family Health International, and we went into the rainforest and we met people and I made friends with them. And uh, I kept in contact with them and one of the leaders there was a friend of mine, and he still is a friend of mine, a dear friend of mine. And uh, he, he went through quite an ordeal, actually, in, in March. He, he is a big kind of leader for his people, and uh, he was said to be one of the main people uh, in ch like, who would be against uh, free trade agreements with oil companies and with other companies there. And basically, I believe, based on everything that I've experienced and talked to him about during this whole time, that there are, there's some, either a corporation or some people out to get him, and they've synthesized these things around him to try to deface him and to put him in jail and to even kill him. He, a couple of weeks ago, he was beaten in an alley in Quito, and he almost died. And I've spent lots of money, personal money, my graduation money, everything I have to help him. Yeah, well. And he's survived, but now it's become, the situation's out of control. And I wanted to ask you if you knew a way to get some kind of help, some kind of human rights lawyers or international lawyers to help him, because he is, yeah. I mean, his whole community is, at risk. At risk. There's a lot of people in that same situation. There's a lawyer named uh, Pedro uh, Pablo Fajardo who's uh, launched a, the biggest lawsuit in the history of the environmental movement, uh, $6 billion against Texaco on behalf of 30,000 indigenous people in the Ecuadorian Amazon because Texaco dumped more than 30 times the spilling at the Exxon Valdez down the rivers there. A lot of people dying. Pablo, this lawyer, his brother was just assassinated and his best friend. Mm -hmm. And as a lawyer in, in uh, New York who's working closely with him, was, two months ago in Vanity Fair, there's a huge article about this. Uh, I was just with Sting and his wife in Ecuador, or Sting's wife in Ecuador, uh, um, who are supporting this work. So I'd get in touch with those people, and I, I'm sure you can do it through Pachamama Alliance and Rainforest Action Network, their offices here in, in, over in San Francisco. I could both help you with that, and there's representatives here who can help Is you get in touch with them. Talk to people afterwards about how to Yeah, help? I'm sure you could talk to people afterwards who could help you at least get in touch. And this lawyer in, in New York who, yeah. whose, whose name is uh, Steve Donzinger, uh, they can help you get in touch with him. Yeah, because there's now it's become two situations. Well, well there's a lot of people in that yeah. position. I mean, I, I know a lot of Shwa, a lot of Achwa, a lot of Warani. Mm -hmm a lot of indigenous people around the world. We yeah. are practicing genocide still. I know it's a, a long battle and I, it's become two different things now. I mean, one is his life is urgent, which he's in the jungle right now as we speak. And, right. uh, he was trying to say that and we then, John, before we end, I just wanted to say for everybody, I want to praise you. I mean, I feel penetrated by your arguments and the message you're sending and you're making the change and what you're talking about tonight is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good to see you. I didn't see your children.